underway in our second heat in Bobby Croatia, the Grip G1 Racing Series presented by Fiber is Shotgun. And Poppy, the number one in our earlier heat is Insult Command, but we have Stern, the Israeli driver who is on his tail. He's actually very level with him quickly here at the beginning. He's trying to overtake the first corner, and he did. Wow, that was quick. We have our first overtake of this race. Stern took Cosimo Poppy, and it was in the blink of the eye. If you didn't see it, you missed it. We're focused on ahead. We're looking forward. This race is going to be enormously entertaining. It's the third race of our uh, weekend in the beautiful Grobnik. Just going to remind you that the uh, Grip G1 Series races run through November. We have seven live races and seven virtual. Uh, as of next week, we're already back in Verano, Italy. So if you're sleeping, you're going to miss it. It's a new track in Grobnik we mentioned earlier today, as I told you, the average speed here is over 180 kilometers per hour, which is insane. This track is actually longer than what our other drivers are used to. Uh, in Italy, 4.7 kilometers is the longest track in our calendar, but we have a lot going on here in this race. Let's talk about all the antics later, as our drivers already complete. They're approaching and completing their first lap. Stern is the leader. Poppy number two, Matos third. We see they're leveled here, and Poppy's going to try and overtake Stern, and he does. Wow, he took command of first possession. That was quick. It only took him one lap to regain his lead after he started first and Stern took a visit. I want to remind everybody that from earlier today, Delara and Peroni, who you see who already climbed to number six, uh, were position seventh and eighth because uh, they started on the back of the grid due to technical issues from the earlier race that caused them to retire. But here they are, they're recovered, they're battling, and they have aspirations of redeeming themselves. So we now have the uh, camp vision on Delara, who is trying to climb the ladder, and in front of him is Nahar. Nahar is the Israeli driver, one of two. Uh, as I mentioned, Stern is in second possession right now. Paganini, we love Paganini, we appreciate him. He really has to step up his skills. He's always ranked on the bottom of our list. So we want to see him do better. We're encouraging him to brush up on his skills, uh, and hopefully he can uh, climb the ladder here a little bit. We have some action going on here as Matos, our only Portuguese driver, is in the third seed. I don't think he wants to settle on that. He's right behind Stern and Poppy. You see how close they are. I think if Stern is going to take Poppy again, has he? I mean, I see on the bracket he's already number one. Matos overtook Bonito. Matos fell back to third. Poppy and Stern are leveled. Wow, this is close. Here he goes, Stern. Mamma Mia is going to number two. Poppy takes number one. And Stern lost number number one position back to Poppy. This is a crazy battle. Oh my god, we're in the third lap, but we had three different lead changes by the same two drivers. Wow, phenomenal. Phenomenal execution by these two guys. What a competitive race here in our second lead in Grobnik, Croatia. Gonna give you a little heads up on Bonito. Enzo Bonito, who's number four. We're going to see his head cam uh, very shortly. Uh, he started from the fourth position uh, earlier because uh, when he lost the first heat, uh, if you remember, he led the entire race. He had a phenomenal race, and then he had a technical malfunction uh, towards the end of the last lap, and he saw himself slide down to number four. So that's why he's seated so low. Uh, we have high expectations for him, and I'm sure he wants to climb the ladder himself. Someone's, oh, I see, you see that's the fuel from the oil that was spilled on the asphalt pavement earlier today. Stern's not giving up. It seems like Matos overtook Stern for the second place right there. He did. That was a beautiful execution over the corner. Enzo Bonito, we just talked about him. Now he climbs to number three. He leaves Stern his dust. That was a great, great job by Bonito. He's already at number two. Matos, there come. Who's it? Wow, Stern came in hot. Stern's coming in from the right corner. He overtakes Peroni. Poppy's still at number two. It's between Matos, Bonito, and Stern. Two to four. Great action here. Peroni see at number fifth. We see Delara. He's trying to be more competitive before we go back to his uh, home country in Italy. Delara's cruising a little around 180 kilometers per hour. You see, that was a beautiful uh, drone uh, view from our live view. Uh, technician, company, and staff 
great, great stuff from them with the live drum cam. Beautiful day in Grubnik. The weather is just unbelievable. Peroni is going to try and overtake Stern here. This is a great battle. It seems like he completed that from Stern's angle. We already see he lost position. Peroni overtook him for number four. Stern keeps falling. Unbelievable. The winner of earlier races in this series has fallen to number fifth in the standings. What a disappointment for Stern. Hopefully he can claim comeback. Vittori is trying to overtake Stern as well, and he does. Great job by the man represented by Benjamin Franklin Dollars on the summit. And another one is passing by Stern. That is Delara. Delara and Vittori overtook Stern. In the span of five seconds, he lost two possessions, dropped to number seven. I told you this race is going to be exciting. Wow, I can't even keep up with all the action going on here. It's magnificent. Don't change your channel or you're going to miss this. Look at the great aesthetics by, by the Grip Jewel series on your screen. You see the seatings on the left. You see the head cam frame on the bottom of the right. You know who each driver is. You have the race map. Stern goes overboard a little bit. That can hurt it. That always hurts drivers when they collide with the, with the dust and the mud and the grass. Going so fast in such immense speed can cause great damage to your car. We'll see how Stern recovers from this one. You see the map. Uh, in the middle of your right screen, our drivers are approaching the end of their fifth lap, which is borderline half race, is behind us. We are approaching the half mark of this race in Grubnik, Croatia, the third weekend of our 2009 series. It's a great matchup right here between Delara and Vittoria, our two Italian comrades, going head to head. Delara's not backing down. Vittoria's kind of opening the entire lane for him to just take his possession. I think he is. It seemed like Delara has overtaken him. And there he is. There he is. He closed him on a corner. He locked him out of the position. He overtook him on that turn. Delara keeps climbing. Good efforts by Delara. Stern still at number seven. Not the best race track. Wow, that was a nice blow by by Stern and Vittori. Something happened to Vittori. We're going to try and get uh, a little uh, insights on what's going on with Vittori, who's slowing down. We see Nahar also just cruised by him. Wow, two drivers blew by Vittori. Uh, hopefully he can recover, but it seems like a technical malfunction on Vittori, who has car issues. I want to focus on Peroni right now because he's on Matos' tail in the sixth lap, and he is not backing down. Peroni was already at the very top today. There's another beautiful view from our, uh, view from our live view. The drone camera crew doing a fantastic job cooperating with the Grip G1 series people. Unbelievable collaboration here by everybody in Croatia. Peroni's going to try and finish here as they complete the sixth lap. And Peroni takes number three. Matos falls to four. You see it right here on your screen. There it is, the curve. He overtakes him on the turn. Peroni's three. Great race. Midway through, we're already almost uh, three quarters into this race. Poppy's number one, Bonito's number two, Peroni's number three, Matos four, Delare, Stern, Naar, Vittori, and last but not least, Paganini. Delare just blitzed by Matos. While I'm, while I'm going down the seatings, I have to correct myself because Delare wasn't satisfied with number five. He just climbed up to number four. You see the timestamps between the leader and the four seed is a little over one second. That's how close these race, races, the drivers are putting on a great execution here today. Uh, look how tight they are. Look at the map on the middle of your right screen. Look how tight we have five drivers super close to each other. Anything can happen there. And, and I just want to point out that they have to be careful because any little movement between, if these cars kiss, could be collateral damage. Stern, we told you he's losing power. I mean, he just lost possession to Nahar. One Israeli blitz is by the other one, like lightning fire. Bonito and Poppy are going head to head, and Bonito's gonna pass Poppy. Yes, he did. I didn't think he could do it, but he did again. Bonito's number one. Poppy just lost it. It's a great battle. Poppy's now trying to regain, regain the number one position. Bonito's closing him off. On the left turn, now on the right turn again. 
Puppy's trying to find an angle. Where can I sneak up on him? Let's see how this plays out. This is incredible. Great skills by, by Poppy now trying to, at the same time, steal number one and also block off Peroni who's trying to, to sneak in a number two. But he has to be mentally prepared right now because a lot's going on in such very little time. He's trying to block off the drivers behind him and he's trying at the same time simultaneously to get into the number one spot. Follow him closely to see Peroni. That's his, his cam view. You see uh, right behind uh, the first two meters of our race. We're approaching the end of this, but anything can happen. Hold on to your seats. Everything's still very close. Just a second between number one and number five. Lap number eight is done for half our drivers. Peroni's gonna try and take Poppy. Poppy has to block him off. He is, Peroni's not getting up. He tried from the right corner. Now he's going from the left corner, back to the right corner. Now on the right curve, he's gonna try and overtake him. Poppy had magnificent de defensive displays of driving, as I mentioned before. Look at him block off all the attempts of Peroni. Delar is trying to sneak up for number four. This race is coming to an end very soon, and there's a lot of action. Still, we, we could have told you earlier in earlier races who we estimated would win just by the gap and poise uh, throughout. But this is incredible. We have between three to four drivers, and this is anybody's race. This is going to go down to the wire. I guarantee it. Watch closely here. We're coming into the finish of the ninth lap. Peroni's still battling with Papi. Papi, as I mentioned, great display of defensive mechanics right here. He's very poised. He's very calculated. He knows what he wants to do. He's not letting Vittori sneak up. He's closing all angles. Bonito's still number one. This is his chance. It feels like this is Peroni's chance if he's going to have the opportunity. It's right now on, on the second to last lap. But Papi blocked him off again. Peroni's not giving up. He's going to try from the left side. Seems like he's a little too far behind. Delara is not giving up on himself. Stern and Vittoria, I want to mention, are out of this race. They retired. Uh, we saw their cars were slowing down. Stern went overboard, exited the track. We're going to try and find out with him later what went down. Vittoria also, technical malfunction, something with his uh, engine. But uh, let's focus on. What's more exciting, which is at the head of the race, Bonito, Papi, Peroni, and Delara, all in great possession of number one, Bonito in the lead. He had a comfortable lead throughout here. I'd say in good four to five laps, he's been number one. If anyone deserves to win it, it's him. You see the track has been paved by the oil there from the earlier races that was spilled on the pavement. No one wants to see anybody slip here and get hurt. We're approaching the finish line. Look how tight our drivers are. Wow, that's incredible. Under a, a split second and anything can happen between those three drivers. Enzo Bonito, there you go. The number one racer today. And our second meeting, Bobby Croatia. Can you pull it off? Want to see if he can pull it off. I'll be very excited for this young man. He led the race in the earlier heat for the majority of the time. Uh, unfortunate technical malfunction there. Saw him drop to number four. Uh, and, you know, I haven't spoken to him, but I think throughout what, what I've heard that he told people he's trying to redeem himself. He's trying to win his championship in the second heat. He's not backing down. Wants to get the best score going forward. This is it, the 11th lap. They're approaching the finish line. Still very close between Bonito, Papi, and Peroni. Bonito number one, Papi number two. Peroni number three. There we go. There we go, Bonito. Still in the lead. Peroni is trying to overtake Papi and sneak into number two. 
We're approaching the end. Bonito's trying to do it. It's now or never for Bonito. For Pironi. Can you do it, Pironi? Can you do it? Yes, he did. He overtook Papi. His hands in the air. And there he goes. He is second. Bonito's number one. Pironi's number two. Papi's number three. Wow. Beautiful display by Pironi at the end there. He overtook him in the last 100 meters of this race. That is fantastic. You see Naira just doing the cool down lap. But wow, can we relive this again? Bonito won the race, and then Peroni overtook Papi in the last 100 meters of the race. He accelerated, he, he perfectly timed his position to overtake him. He wasn't settling for third, he wanted to grab number two. Pushed on the throttle, pedal to the metal. There you go, that's how you do it. Peroni number two, Papi disappointing, drops number three. I actually think he already thought he, he was probably in good position to finish second. He might have left let his foot off the throttle just for a split second and that cost him precious position. Wow, this race was fantastic. A lot of action, two drivers who retired, a great finish. Enzo Bonito wins the race. Second, third, and fourth drivers were separated by less than two milliseconds. It's fantastic, you see a race third who we mentioned retired his car. Oh, on the field, very disappointing day for Stern. Uh, just to give you kind of a background, he, he won previous races this season. He's a very skilled and fluid driver. Today just wasn't his day. Poppy is uh, entering the, the pit box. The ladies just trying to position himself here at number three. There you go, number three. Good effort by Poppy today. Can't complain other than that last sequence. Final 100 meters of the 11th lap. There you go, the champion, Enzo Bonito. High fives to the heavens. Great job by the Italian. Magnificent. Let's see, you see the quick standings of our two races. Miguel Matos Stern and Delara. And now we're going to show you another great evolution by the Group G1 team presented by Fiverr, which is the evaluation and the overtake analysis of Constantino Peroni's overtaking Papi with number two. I'm David Pick signing up for Broadway Croatia. I will see you in Italy. Ciao. happy because uh, in the first race we we were leading then uh, we got a, li a little bit unlucky but the mechanics came back and did everything uh, they could to, to to fix the car again they did an amazing job the engineer also all together we we managed to to get this victory finally